Alright guys, this is Mike from The Beard Don't Lie. Um, so today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you. Um, I just got in something super interesting and neat for all you beard guys out there and um, all you beard lovers um, that want to do something for your, your uh, man. Um, so, I have this and I'm super excited to show you guys and let you know my thoughts. Um, so, I'll be doing an unboxing, show you what it is. Uh, I'm going to do a, a quick video of what it's supposed to do and see if it does what it's supposed to do. Um, and then after, I'm going to be using it for the next few weeks. And then I'll do a follow-up video to let you guys know like my final thoughts after using it for a few days, how, how well it is, and things like that. So without further ado, let's just get into it. This is what it is. It is the mask by Jeff Chaston. Um, so this is a crucial bar, um, and it's meant to straighten your beard. So I mean, it's actually supposed to be the first one out there, um, straighten your beard. I have seen one other product that supposedly is the same thing. The only difference between that is it, it's it was really marketed as just a hair straightener, but Apparently you could use it on your beard just like any other straightener, but this one was specifically designed for your beard. Um, now, Jeff Chasen did send this out to me to do a review, um, and he also sent me the Glory Hold um, Hair and Build Sculptor, which is basically just like kind of like a pomade kind of sculptor thing, um, <clears throat> and it's supposed to work along with this. So. Let's just get, I mean, look at the packaging on this thing. Look at that. He's got that, that matte box with like the little gloss, like the same black gloss. That is like super nice. It is a nice packaging. <coughs> so let's just read the box real quick. Um, this is the first model. So it's the Mask 01. Um, it's 110 to 220 volts. Power consumption is 45 watts, and temp control is 190 degrees Celsius. Um, I can't remember what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's around like 370 some degrees. I don't know. I'll put that in below what it actually is. I'll, I'll figure it out, but it's somewhere in there. Um, so it was designed by Mass by J and J LLC. Um, it's got a protective electrical plug, negative ions, reduced damage to hair, quality performance, heat barrier comb design, and for dry hair only. So you can't, like I haven't taken a shower yet this morning, um, but you need to have your hair dry. So my hair is dry at the moment. And you can see like how curly it is. Um, it does get tangled a lot. So we'll just see if this, this works. So it's got a little pull tab right here to get into it. <clears throat> So there is the box guys. So that's it. So it comes with a little travel pouch, which is a nice like velvet kind of travel pouch. <clears throat> we have a little manual and we'll look into it real quick. We have a little cleaning brush. Not sure what that's for. Maybe just to get in between the bristles if any hair gets stuck in there. And then we have the unit itself. And it's all in this like cushion, you know, kind of thing, which is actually really nice. Like honestly, I mean, you probably just want to keep it in here all the time when you store it. It's just, it's a really nice packaging. Um, so let's just look at this real quick. So it's, it's actually pretty small. It's about the size of just like a hand comb. Um, it's got all these, different little, let's see if I can focus in on that, there we go. These different like little bristles and stuff like that. Um, and again, it's this nice like satin finish on it with the embossed lettering. That's like really nice. Um, looking at it in the pictures, like it just, it doesn't do it justice as far as like how it looks in person. Um, it's actually pretty nice, pretty nice quality as far as everything goes. Like, 
I'm fairly impressed on, on the build quality of it. Um, I'm not sure how much it weighs, but it doesn't weigh a lot. I mean, it, it's not bad. The, the only thing is like the cord, like probably weighs it down a little bit, but it's a pretty hefty cord. Um, this is no like cheap cord. Ooh, and I like that. Look at that. So this right here, so it's the strap to protect it. It's not just on there. It's actually held on there so you can always have it. So you can take it to travel with you guys. Um, that's really nice. Uh, most of the time when you get these kind of things, it's just, it could be a Velcro strap or just, you know, a rubber band. But this one you can re-hook it up and it doesn't, you don't actually like have to lose it. Um, because it's always on there. So that is really nice. Um, again, it's a really nice thick cord. Um, it's nothing that you feel is chintzy. Um, it's got reinforced at the end so it doesn't want to bend too much. It's so, you know, if you accidentally bend it on, at, right at the thing. And it's got a really good thick heavy area there too. Um, I mean, this is, as of, as a first, like, look at this and initial, um, thoughts, I'm really impressed. Um, I really like it. it it's, it's, it feels good in the hand. It's not too big. Um, and then you're supposed to just comb it through just like a regular comb. And actually the size of it, I think is where it will come into play. Cause doing a little bit of research on some of this stuff, the the other one the other one that I did see that apparently people use on their beards is way bigger than this one. It's it's probably like twice as long, or maybe not twice as long, but it's probably about like that long. So I mean it's it's a good bit bigger. So this one, like the size of it is good for any kind of I guess travel or anything like that. I mean this this you could take with you. I mean you could probably take this anywhere you needed to go it's so it's so compact um, it does have these little bristles down here I don't know what that's for I wonder if that's in the manual let's just look real quick okay so this little thing down here let's see if I can zoom in on it all right that's just that's too hard but that little thing right there that's for the negative ions and it looks like a little bristle brush. Um, it's got like little bristles on it. You can see the little bristle. So in the manual, it says that that's the negative ion. So I guess it's so it doesn't have any issue as far as like building up static and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's just look about how to operate it real quick. So, it says start and stop. Hold the power button for three seconds to turn the device on. Hold the power button for three seconds to turn on. Uh, device heats up to 190 degrees Celsius. Keep hair clean and dry before use. Uh, insert the power plug source and wait 60 seconds to heat. Um, gently comb hair into the desired style direction, making sure not to press down on skin. And then use the mask by Jeff Chasen styling and treatment products to ensure quality and condition of hair. Device will automatically turn off after 30 minutes for safety. Um, so this is the little start stop button right here. Um, so obviously you need to have it plugged in before you can turn it on and turn it off. Um, I mean, there's not too much to this menu, so I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So it's got cleaning and maintenance. So be sure to turn, make sure the device is turned off, unplug and cool to room temperature before cleaning. Um, clean with a cotton or soft brush and store device after cool to room temperature. Um, so I'm guessing that's what that little brush is to clean it. Um, safety precautions, don't use it in the shower, don't, you know, it's, 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 it's an electrical device. Don't, don't, basically don't try to electrocute yourself with it. Um, so, I mean, it is a really neat, neat looking tool. 
Um, so it says professional hair tool and beard straightener. Um, so with that being said, let's just try it. So like you can see my beard right now, like it's curly and I haven't brushed it today. I haven't put any product in it today. So let's just plug it in and see what we can do. All right. So let's hold it for three seconds. Okay, so there is a light blinking. So that's how you know that I guess it's on. And then we'll wait about 30. All right, so we have a solid green light. Um, <clears throat> it took less than a minute or so. And um, so you can feel the heat coming off of it. It's not like super hot, but you can feel it. So I'm guessing all the heat's all up in there, but the light is solid green, so it's no longer blinking. So I guess that means it's ready to go. So we'll just, we'll just try to do it. I'm not sure how slow you should do it, but I can already tell the difference. Let's get under this. Just get through these hairs. Man, it's showing my gray hair more. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that already. So I've only done a few strokes in it. And you can you can tell it has like straightened out my beard. Um, I'm trying to show it like half and half. So it is straightening it out, most definitely. Tell you this I feel like I feel like my since my hair is really curly sometimes and it can actually kink up a lot and you know, um it'll get stuck pretty easily when I run combs through it um the biggest difference I can tell is it feels tons softer So you can already see that it's making a difference. I mean, it looks longer. I mean, it's the same length, of course, but because my hair kinks up and, and curls, it looks longer because it's straightening out. So I guess basically the thing that you have to just kind of figure out is what direction you want your hair to go. Um, so I mean, let's see if it does my mustache. That that worked. That worked.
worked really well. Like it's, so over here you can see that, I mean sometimes I will curl my mustache, um, but because I, I curl it sometimes, like it doesn't always want to blend well back with my beard, but like just doing this a little bit has blended it back. Look how straight that looks compared to what it is over here. Pay no mind to those gray hairs. See how curly this is over here? So I mean, it. I think they did pretty well. I have a few loose hairs in there. Um, nothing, nothing too bad though. So, but it's not really hot to the touch. So I guess all the heat is in all the bristles. Um, you can feel the heat on the backside. Um, it, it does get hot, but you, I mean, you wouldn't want to keep your hand there for too long, but you can feel it. But it's one of those things that probably because of the way it's built, um, if you accidentally hold it, it's not going to burn you right away. Um, but I mean, if you hold it on there, it, it probably could burn you. Um, but I tell you what, initial thoughts is pretty decent. Especially just going from waking up and just not really doing anything with my beard, not putting anything on it. Because most of the time I'll put like a beard oil, conditioner, um, I'll comb it through a few times to try and like soften it. But it is already, it already feels softer, like tons softer. Like this feels very rough, this side feels very soft. Um, so I'd say that, that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Now, one of the things I have seen in his video when he talks about that is that he actually puts this product, Glory Hold, um, which is the hair and build sculptor in his beard as well. Um, in one of his videos, he puts it on a little bit before he actually does it. I don't know if it helps smooth it out, but you know what? Let's just let's just try it. Let's let's just see what it is. Uh, I'll be doing a separate video on this to, to let you guys know what I think about it. Um, straight off the bat, it does come with a plastic little um, protector in there, so that's nice. Um, so again, the quality of this is really decent. Um, it has a slight smell, but it, it's not like overpowering. Um, so if you like just a little bit of fragrance, not too much, what's in it? Um, it does have fragrance, but it's not like a whole bunch. So we're just going to take a little bit of this stuff. Not a whole bunch, just, just a little dab on your finger. I'm going to put this in my beard on this side again, just to see what it does. All right. Let's just do this again. You can see it steaming a little bit. Wow. Okay. So that definitely straightens it even more. Man, I gotta clean up my my cheek line now. Okay, so it does steam off. I don't know if you can see it steaming. hard to see. I guess you can kind of see it. Um, but I tell you what, when he did that in the video, I was thinking, what is that doing? That straightens it out like so much more. And I think probably what it's doing is when it's, since it is a hold, it's probably holding it straighter. 
coming down. It loses a little bit of that soft feel, just like a little bit of that feel, um, because there there is like the paste in your your um, your hair, so you hit, you have a little bit of that sticky texture right now, probably because it hasn't held just yet, um, or firmed up, I guess. Um, so you lose a little bit of the soft feel from just doing it naturally with just hair only, um, but. I can already tell it's even straighter. I mean, look at this. Look at the two sides. So again, let me do a zoom. Oh, I got a little bit of, I mean, I'll be doing this side in a second because I ain't going out like that, but. Now I will tell you guys, if you do use the glory hold with this, you will hear a little sizzle. Um, just pay no mind to the sizzle. It should be okay. Um, just as long as you don't smell flesh, you should be good. And normally I try to get underneath my beard. Man. Some of you guys know I really like, really like some beard oil and stuff. Um, but you know what? I mean, that is like impressive. And he also uses it on his hair. Um, my hair is pretty straight for the most part. And I don't, I don't really, I don't really comb it over a certain way, but. I mean, I don't, I don't do much with my hair. I actually work more with my beard than I do with my, the hair on the top of my head for the most part. Um, but man, tell you what guys, that is pretty impressive. I mean, just look at the difference. I would say that's a pretty good, pretty good result right out of the box and not really training anything. Cause I mean, I haven't, since this is the first time using it, I haven't trained my beard to use this um, and be a certain style. Um, but I mean, what do you guys think? You know, do you think it's, I think it's pretty good? I think it is. Um, but anyway, so, I'm gonna do the rest of my beard so it all matches. But um, I will be using this over the next few weeks, um, training my beard, trying to get to learn it better, know it more, get a get a better feel for it. The um, the thing that I'm already super impressed with is I'm super impressed with the build quality of it, the size of it, and the initial work work of the product. Um, so I mean this this is this is I think a home run right this second. Um, but again, I'm gonna use it over the next few weeks, make sure it's still working, make sure it still does what it's supposed to do. Um, let you guys know. And we'll be having a follow-up in the you know, probably by the end of the month we'll probably have a follow-up um, for it. But um but this is this is so far I'm very impressed. So Jeff, I mean it, you've made a really nice product. And um, to let you guys know more about Jeff, um, he is a salon owner in New York City. And um, he also um, has done stuff for, you know, some of the stars and celebrities out there and everything. So, I mean, he's, he's built a name for himself. Um, and I think with this, I mean, I think he's building a product to go with his name. And... So far, initial thoughts of this product is I'm, I'm super impressed. Um, so yeah, guys, I will I will give you some more information. If you're curious about one to get one yourself, I'll have a link below um, so you guys can, can try and get one. Um, I will be doing a separate video on this as well. Um, so we'll, we'll just, 
we'll be we'll be checking back on this a few times now, um, and, and let you guys know what what the deal is about him and everything like that. So let me um let me finish the rest of my beer. Alright guys, so, after doing my entire beard now, what are my initial thoughts about the Kushal Bar um, masked by Jeff Chasen? Um, I think it's a good product. I think it's a decent product. I think it does what, it's, what it says it does. Uh, I think it's in a good form. Um, I think it is a good product. As of right now, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It straightened my beard. It, you know, took all the curl out of it. Things like that. Um, I think right now the only thing is now I have to trim up my cheeks because now it's all the poofiness on my beard is now gone. So. It, Everything that was hidden and kind of blended together now, well, they're no longer blended. Um, so that's bad. It makes your beard too good. So if you're if you got flaws in your beard, it's going to show the flaws. So now I got to clean this up. Um, but initial thoughts: if you should get one, I think if you're looking to straighten your beard and you're looking to work on your beard some more, train it, get it to where you want it. I think this may be a good a good place to start. Um, there's Glory Hold stuff. I mean, it smells good. It um, It's not too sticky. Um, I have some stuff that's really sticky. I mean, it's like almost like a glue paste. This has got a little bit of stick to it. It's not too bad. But we'll get into that more in another video. But initial thoughts of the Kushal Bar is I definitely give it a thumbs up. I definitely like it. I, f I think that if you're looking to train your beard and work on your beard, I think it might be a very good um, product to add to your collection of beard tools. Um, so I think it's I think it's pretty decent. Um, now the only thing I don't know, and this is going to be more on like beard to beard, just dropping stuff. This is going to be more about beard to beard and your personal hair and stuff like that. That because this is a straightener, I don't know how quickly my beard is going to um, start to curl again, depending on how humid it is and stuff like that. I know with the hold is probably going to help with that to help prevent. It's starting to curl back and that's just going to take some time after you know um, training and stuff like that which is why I'm gonna be doing another video probably at the end of the month to show you like how much has worked what my hair does uh, and things like that because um, on a rainy day I may go back outside and just push back up into and gets all curly again so we're gonna be doing some stuff like that um, I probably will also um, do it maybe jump in the shower once and just kind of like see how quickly it goes back to curl after you do it after it's like after the heat's died down and everything like that um so guys if you're interested in it all the information will be down below um if you're definitely interested in one um i mean let them know that you you, you know you saw it from me um and everything so all right guys so 
If you like my video, definitely leave a comment below. If you have the crucial bar, let me know what you think. If um, you want to know more and there's not enough information and you just want to ask me my opinion, just leave me a comment below. Ask me what I think and whatever questions you have. I'll try my best to answer it. Um, anything I can't answer, maybe I can try and pass you over to Jeff and his company and maybe they can be able to answer it for you. Um, but I think it's I think it's a pretty good product, guys. Um, if you like my videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video, and I'll keep doing more for you. And um, I'll check you later.